Live with a woman as if you live alone. I try to urge as many men as possible, and this won't happen for all men, but I urge as many men as possible to live with a woman as if you live alone. And in order to do that, you have to spend time working on self, working on your purpose, living alone to focus on your purpose, taking time to understand you, to understand self. This won't be for the majority of people because society isn't set up for it to work like that for every man. But I urge as many men as possible to live with a woman as if they live alone. In this world, it's hard being a man. I know for women, you know, it seems pretty clean cut. Be a man, get a job, take care of your family, be a good husband, be a good boyfriend, be a good son, be a good cousin, be a good brother. You know, it seems pretty clean cut. But for us men, we know how hard it is just being a man. It's a lot of expectations that's put on you to be a man. You know, if you're out with a, your girl or out with family members and you seem to be the oldest man or the strongest man in the bunch, there's a lot of expectations put on you. If something jumps off, they expect you to stand in the line of fire. They, ex they expect you to protect them and as well they should. Um, if you're the man in the house, I don't care if you're younger are uh, 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 older than everybody else You expect to provide the majority Of the money to care for that house um, you're, expect, you're expected to be the one To end conflict Or either resolve conflict In any type of way That's the role of a man That is the expectations of a man And we as men know that that's a lot It can be a lot Some men make it look easier than others but for the most part, there are expectations put on each and every man out here. And we have an obligation to be the ones to handle pressure. When everybody's crying, we're expected to be we're expected to be stronger than everyone else. Not that we're not going to cry, but there's a time and a place for us to cry because we have to be there for others. So there's a lot of expectations on being a man. And this is why I say to as many men as possible, live with a woman as if you live alone. Because... You know what's expected of you. You know it's hard. And there are plenty of men who will make it easier for themselves and put it on the people around them. So that you don't have to be the complete breadwinner of the house. You may ask your woman or whoever else is living with you to split bills. To make it easier for you as a man. And I understand it's okay for most of you men to do that. But for men who want to be exceptional, for men who want to get the most out of those around him and to get the most out of his own life and to get the most out of yourself um, for you to try to carry most, if not all the bills inside the house because of the pressure, you know what's expected of you as a man. So if you know that this pressure is put on you as a man, you need to try your damnedest, your hardest, to try to be the person who's capable of paying all the bills in the house. If you're expected to be a protector, you need to be as strong and as competent as possible to be able to protect everyone around you. Take gun training, take boxing, take MMA, whatever it takes to be the strongest among those around you, to be at least majority of the time capable of protecting the people that you say you love, the people that are around you. Um, to fight hard to get a career, to fight hard to make more money in your career so that you could be able to be the complete breadwinner. Accept the pressure, but you have to be alone for a while to be able to receive family members and a girlfriend and your children in a proper manner where you are complete head of household. Not to say that you can't be head of household and you're allowing some of the responsibility to fall on those around you. And a lot of times men feel like, there are some men who feel like, dog, you ain't got to go through all that pressure. And I understand it. You know, it's too stressful for some men. Some men not built to handle everything. Some men not built to have all that pressure on their back. So there are men out there who will tell young men, listen, you ain't got to do all that. Make your girl pay half of that, you know, 
make your um um make other people around you accept some of the responsibilities because we know it's hard being a man and you don't have to do all of that. And men are aware that a lot of men aren't built for that. But to those who accept the challenge, for those who accept the responsibility, live with a woman as if you live alone. Fix yourself, work on yourself. Make it possible to where, the reason why I say live on your own for a little while before you live with a woman as if you live alone is because if you live on your own for a while, you accept the responsibility of a household on your own. And you know that to pay all the bills and to feed yourself and to have money for emergencies and to have money for growth and to have money to invest, it takes a lot. And if you're working on yourself alone, you will figure out a way to capitalize on it. You will figure out a way to make good income, pay all your bills, make enough money to invest, make enough money to save, make enough money for leisure and enjoyment time in your life. If you have worked all these things out, it is far easier to have respect, to have love, to have submission from your woman because she's coming into she's coming into a situation where she doesn't have to have to accept any responsibility other than being feminine and being a woman. And it makes it easier for you as a man because you figured out the things in life that put stress on all men. You figured out the things in life that put stress on every man, woman, and child in the world. And you did it all alone, bro. You figured it out. You worked it out. You worked out your demons. You worked out your procrastination and your laziness. And you figured out a way in life to persevere, to come through everything. So that now when you receive a family and you receive a woman in your house and you have children, you can be relied upon. And then you also have skills to teach your woman to build in life. And you also have the greatest skills to teach your sons and daughters how to build up in life. You've gained all of these things, wisdom, knowledge, strength, perseverance, income, passive income. You've worked out all the kinks in life that trap most people. It's not for everybody, but it's good for a man to live alone. And it's good for a man to live with a woman is if he lives alone. You have figured out the thing that has tripped up damn near the majority of people on the planet because you worked it out. You figured out your purpose. You figured out your mission. And you now can truly be the head of the family. Being head of household is just being the man of the house. But being the head of the family is figuring out all these things that the majority of people in life can't figure out, which is getting their basics together and having things together, having your health, your mind, having wisdom and knowledge, having the income, having everything set in life that people lean upon to make a good life, to make a better life. So I'm just leaving this little information about Live with a woman as if you live alone. Being a provider takes a great responsibility. It takes a great mission in a man. Other than just going to work, letting your woman pay half the bills, letting your children as they get older pitch in on the bills, coming home, not working the extra hours, not going to school or trying to get a trade or something like that, not trying to figure out passive income. Not building your body up because there are a lot of men who make a lot of money, but then they forget to work on their body. They work at a desk job. They don't work out. They don't do too much, you know, um, but figuring all these things out allows you as a man to be head of family, head of household, to be the person that could be leaned upon and to be able to give information to those around you that don't come readily to most people because you figure it out, not just for yourself, but for others. This is why I say accept the responsibility of paying all those bills because if it was all on you and you lived alone, you would have to figure it out anyway. So why not figure it out? Stop letting people take up your slack. Stop, stop doing that. Stop letting people assist you and be the man. Figure it out. And they can assist you in other ways because you assist them because you've already figured it out. They're going to come to you. People come to you and they lean on you and they'll ask questions. Daddy, how I make more money? What kind of job I need to get? How do I make passive income? How do I be a stronger man? You become that person to lean upon. But if you can't lean upon yourself to figure it out, nobody else can lean upon you. This is why I say 
Live with a woman as if you live alone. You'll figure it out, bro. Just give it a try.